So any individual with half a brain will watch a video all the way through, especially when the title strikes them in a negative way and they're thinking, ah, oh, let's just bash this guy. <laughs> um, you know, hey, it's a lot of people are gonna do that. That's just the nature of the YouTube game, voicing your opinion, freedom of speech, all that. So Teamsters Union Pension, the best that you can get in the world. And this is some of the best advice that I've received in life. And even before I was given the advice, I knew that getting into a, getting into an occupation like trucking, right? You need to get with a company that offers the best benefits with pension, okay? Where you're also taking the least amount of risk and liability. Now, obviously, with a company, you're taking the least amount of um, liability, okay? There's still a lot of liability as a driver, a lot. For example, in the description box, not the comment section. Okay, there's an arrow under this video, I believe on the right side, you hit the, the tiny little arrow, okay? And it brings out, you know, my email, my name. I'll leave a link right there from the Asian My Show. Shout out to that guy, Mother Truckers where he was talking about a company driver that ended up getting screwed for like 90 million dollars and this dude's a bonehead okay he's an idiot he's an ass wipe uh he's scum of the earth dude check that video out okay there's still a lot of risk and liability as a driver so teamsters union man now i don't know at all i don't know everything but what i do know based on people who know more than I do, who have more experience than I do, I know that with the Teamsters Union, okay, you're running the least amount of risk, you're protected, you've got a pension, and the family's covered. Your family is covered. Being an owner operator, I did the homework, I almost bought my own truck for 12 grand. It was, it had like 980,000 miles on it. It was a day cap Mack truck. And everybody kept telling me, you know, it's hard to kill that dog, you know, and it was tempting. I almost bought it. But after running the numbers, you know, and being home every day and running, you know, steel on a flatbed, it's appealing. It has its appeal. But if something was to happen to that truck, if something was to happen to somebody else by their stupid hand, not even my hand, I can end up screwed out of millions of dollars could easily even become a billion. You, you just never know. Things happen, okay? And they're not always your fault, okay? And unfortunately, even when it's not your fault, in this industry, you can end up screwed big time. And there is no amount of money that you can save. Instead, what I've decided to do, right? And I'm not revealing all my moves here, but here's one stream of income right here. It's not much, but it's enough. It's, it's, it's good enough for now and it's going to stack. But if you haven't already gotten into cryptocurrency, you need to get into that. I got into it uh, March of this year or no, more like April, more like the end of April, early May. And I lost a couple hundred dollars, but right now I'm up over, well, right now I'm only up a thousand. And just a few days ago, I was up like 16, no, I was up like 14, 1500. Okay, it was a total investment of like 920, 930 bucks. Okay, and right now the total investment is right now at like 16, 16, 17. A couple of, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was at about almost 2100. But the investment is not, dipping below my original investment right now it's up and i predict it's going to stay up okay the crypto is basically the future so you know i've got that of course and then now abf freight lines with the pension the teamsters union also in the description box below you'll find a link for the teamsters union okay and you know, I, I see a lot of guys that say, oh, the government is always bailing them out. No, bro. It's not that the go it makes it look like, they make it look like the government's bailing them out. Do you realize how many members are part of the Teamsters Union? 
not only running, maintaining, and um, enforcing all the laws and regulations and rules of the Teamsters Union, but on the work on the work side as well. You know, my dad being one of the uh, retirees from these great opportunities in the Teamsters Union, you know, it's uh, it's just outstanding. Everybody that I talk to that's a Teamster, they're all happy, right? Because we're getting paid well. And best of all, home every day. Every day that you're OTR in that truck, you're risking your CDL. Every day that you park in a truck stop, a rest area, or you're alone somewhere in Timbuktu, you know, you are exposed to the elements, you're exposed to crime, you're exposed to all that stuff. And while you're in it, it's very easy to tell yourself, well, you know, I've got, I've got my protection right here, I'm good. Why put yourself there in the first place, you know? In the meantime, yeah, get out there, make your bones, get your money, and then defend your CDL and get yourself into a company that's going to offer you all this protection, all these benefits, okay? Because at, you know, as far as ABF, I mean, there's $0 copay, emergency room, all that stuff, man. It's all, it's all covered, not to mention the pension at the end of the year and or at the end of your years. And my math at the end of 20 years, just after, you know, only bagging 50 hours a week, we all know I'll be doing more than that, but at just 50 hours a week, okay, with what goes into the pension, it's about $488,000. Okay, so when you couple that with making moves, you know, like YouTube, crypto, Roth IRA, who knows, especially crypto could end up retiring me early, it could end up retiring you early. I've got so many friends. Well, not so many. I have I have a couple friends that are that are in in crypto. Scott, shout out my man. He got me into crypto. And you know, it's it's one of the best decisions that I've made. You know, if I'm if I really need some money, eh, pull a little bit out here and there. <laughs> now, I'm not going to tell you right now what, you know, to invest in. Maybe I'll make another video on that, but Dude, in the end, all stocks, all crypto, it's all gambling. And never put in what you're not willing to lose. Teamsters, you, no matter what you guys say, it is the best in the business, okay? To be a trucker, you don't want that liability. Trust me. There's all this hype, you know, with great risk comes great reward. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, sure. But uh, like a, a like something a trainer once told me at JB Hunt, Johnny, shout out. You know, is did you get home at the end of your day because of your skills or because you got lucky? Because a lot of drivers out here are getting lucky, and all the motor ops that I see out there, well, not all, some. There's there's a pretty big handful. They got their phones right here in their hands, man. It scares me, bro. My family is out there on that road every fucking day. And your bitch asses are out there on the phone with, with a phone in your freaking hand. It blows my mind, but let's stay on subject, huh? Anyways, at the end of the day, I'm getting paid. As you all know, ABF. Uh, started me at top pay because of my experience. That that was my plan, you know, uh, plan A, owner operator. Plan B, get with a company where the Teamsters Union is at. So that's like UPS, ABF, and I think the Teamsters are also right away. Comment below if I'm mistaken. Um, but ABF, I mean, they're, that $10,000 sign on bonus, it was taxed. So I'm only getting like 6250, but come on, man. Come on, with the Deemsters benefits, the pension, everything else, who's going to leave? You know, I have to remain a city driver dock worker for the next two years uh, for that bonus to um, for that bonus to stay active. Right. So I don't have to pay it back. But hey, small price to pay, man. Very small price to pay. The family's taken care of. That's all that matters. My future is solidified. OK, the Teamsters Union has been around forever. Know what I'm saying? We're protected. And if you disagree, and if you try to come at me hide, hey, we're gonna come for you.
motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little video on this later. That is body armor. So I'll be throwing a video out uh, explaining that. So anyways, you guys check out some of my other videos. Again, thank you for being here. For all of you that have been here since the beginning, I will continue to thank you guys. And being home every day, man, now I can enjoy stuff like this on the weekends, right? That's what I was doing before. And I can get right back into that stuff, right? And getting training on uh, applying tourniquets and, you know, all that uh, emergency IFAC tactical training. I can, I can finally really start diving into even harder than before. And awesome benefit to being home every day. I'm here with my family, especially through all this BS that's going on. Screw being over the road, bro, right? So, hey, I don't know if I get a bonus for you guys going to ABF or not. I still have to look into that. I've been busy with other things, you know, like my family and making sure all my stuff is in order and the hiring process at ABF. I'm officially a Teamster as of, what's today, Friday? As of yesterday. My orientation was on, uh, on Wednesday. So if you guys want to know how that went, that'll be linked in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. So anyways, you guys, Mr. By the Mile, thank you all who have been here since the beginning, since I started trucking two years ago in August of 2019. And here I am two years later with a pension, all those great benefits, man. And I'm gonna keep saying it because it pisses a lot of people off and I'm happy about it. Not happy that I'm pissing people off, but happy about where I'm at now, you know? And I'm, I'm really glad I didn't make that move to owner operatorship. For all those that still want it, hey man, go chase your dreams, attack them, accomplish them, be safe, be careful, you know, especially as a flatbedder, look up, down and around. Situational awareness is key, okay, is king. And um, don't take any unnecessary risks. If you need to pass an exit because a jackass is on the road, pass it, you'll come back around to it. It's like an extra 10 minutes. But when you're OTR, sometimes the next exit will take you 20 minutes. 30 minutes down the road and um, with that level of frustration going through your mind how can you constantly time and time again um, remain calm every time I mean everybody's got emotions right although women are the more emotional ones I read Bill Conte hey guys throw emotions too nowadays especially with everything they're putting in our food am I right <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> Mr. By the Mile, you're home for discussions based on my knowledge and experience in trucking, the red pill and survival. Take care, stay safe. All you Teamsters out there, make sure you smash the like. New guys, subscribe. See y'all on the road, man.